Hi, my name is Joe. I'm an outside service technician for CenturyLink. I'm going to take you through a few tips that could help you restore your service, improve the quality of the service you currently have, or even assist a technician that might be working for you outside your home and not have access inside right now. I'm going to try to keep these tips simple. Uh, if you get a little bit overwhelmed, you can always go back and watch the video again. Ready then? Let's get to it. This tip is about checking if your jack is connected. If you're connecting to one of the jacks in your house for the first time, there's a question as to whether or not it'll work. An easy way to tell would be to remove the screw on top and bottom, take this jack out from the wall. If it's stuck to the wall, you can pry lightly or cut with a knife. And when we pull it out, we see there is no wire connected. We know this jack will not work without some extra connectivity done. Another style jack you may see has an outer plate that comes out and then two screws need to be removed here for the inner jack to come out and we see this one does have a wire connected, but it's only one pair of wires giving one line of connectivity. Another style you may see is a biscuit jack like this that would simply need to have the cover pried off. And here we see there are actually two pair of wires connected. So we have two lines connected. This might work for a bonded internet service, which would need two wires connected. Another thing you can look for when you take the jack off is if there's paint stuck up under here, that can block your connectivity as well. Now, just because the wires are connected doesn't mean your jack's gonna work. This connection still has to pass all the way through to the D-mark outside. 